Hi, my name is Rajat. I'm an engineer with National Instruments. This video introduces you to the PXI Express 5665 Vector Signal Analyzer. A frequency range of 20 hertz to 14 gigahertz, a phase noise of negative 129 dBc per hertz at a 10 kilohertz offset, and an average noise floor of about negative 165 dBm per hertz make this one of the highest performance instruments that you can get in the market. This instrument comes in two flavors, a 3.6 gigahertz version, which takes up five PXI Express slots, and a 14 gigahertz version, which takes up seven PXI Express slots. In my system here, I have the 14 gigahertz version. You can see the 5665 is in the middle of the chassis. I also have a few vector signal generators and switches which are going to be generating signals that are going to go into my 5665. To show you the performance and the speed capabilities of the 5665, let's take a look at my LabVIEW front panel. What you're seeing on your screen here is a 14 gigahertz spectrum, starting off at 1 gigahertz with a resolution bandwidth of 10 kilohertz. The 14 gigahertz spectrum is really useful when you're doing harmonic testing, uh, even if you're doing radar testing in the X or KU band, satellite testing, radio testing, and e EMI testing as well. Now, in a production environment, you might not always want to acquire the entire spectrum. Uh, so to show off the speed of the 5665, we can switch it into a list mode. With list mode, we're actually hopping frequencies. Uh, here I'm going from about 2 gigahertz to 14 gigahertz and measuring the harmonics at every 2 gigahertz steps. So I'm taking seven total steps. And you can see that we were taking about 2.6 seconds to acquire the entire spectrum before, and now we're taking about 310 milliseconds to acquire all seven steps and to do a power measurement on all of those steps so we can measure all of these harmonics. The second tab here shows the phase noise of the instrument. As you can see here, uh, at a 10 kilohertz offset, we're about negative 131 dBc per hertz. And at uh, 100 kilohertz as well, we're about negative 131. Our far out phase noise is really good, and we're about negative 142 dBc per hertz at 1 megahertz offset. Now, phase noise and dynamic range are probably the most important things that you should be looking for in your RF signal analyzer. Here, we're showing off the dynamic range of the instrument. We're, we're generating two tones from two different CW sources and measuring the third harmonic of the instrument. That way, we can also calculate the IP3, or TOI, third order intercept, of the instrument. Here you can see the two main tones are at 1 gigahertz and 1.001 gigahertz, so they're 1 megahertz apart. Uh, my third harmonic shows up at 1.002 gigahertz. Uh, you can see my main tone is about negative 5.4 dBm. My third harmonic, let's go ahead and zoom into that, is about negative 90 or 89 dBc. So my IP3, if I calculate that according to my main tone and my third harmonic, is about 36.5 dBm, which is really great for this instrument. The last tab on here is my WCDMA adjacent channel power measurement. Here again, for adjacent channel power, the uh, dynamic range, the noise floor, and the linearity of your RF signal analyzer are really important. You can see that my adjacent channel power measurements are about negative 80 to negative 81 dBc, and my alternate channels are about negative 85 to negative 86 dBc, which is really great for this instrument. Overall, the PXI Express 5665 not only provides the highest performance because of its dynamic range, linearity, and noise floor, but because of the benefits of the PXI platform, such as peer-to-peer -peer streaming and modularity, it's also one of the fastest instruments that you can get in the market. The use of the software toolkits, such as WCDMA, LTE, GSM Edge, and GPS, also make the 5665 one of the most flexible instruments that you can find. 